This dramatization, drawn from actual events, is based on interviews, articles, and medical records. for mom? Uh, Grampy's got his radiation tomorrow. Does she know? Yeah, she's taking him. Mm -hmm. Going to work? Mm -hmm. I'm going to fill in for a girl on maternity. The hospital called at the last minute. And Grampy's virus is much better today. Hey, man, that's crazy, isn't it? Did you say hello to your grandpa? Mm -hmm. Hi, Grampy. How are we doing today? Lousy. You want another one? Patients die. If there's any medicine left over hanging around, she just takes it. <gasps> Are you telling me your grandma's a doper? Well, some of it's for my grandfather for the cancer. Uh, what about the rest? Well, she says she keeps it around just in case uh, somebody has trouble getting through the night. <laughs> They can move into the Grady place on Joy Street. 
that's like an open house. We could share a room for um, 20 bucks a week each. We'd be real troublemakers. <laughs> Where do we get the money? Jobs. <laughs> We're not 16. Just not so we lie. Oh, get realistic. Hey, are you going out with um, Peter Riley? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peter Riley. That shrimp. I need him for. What for? I need an action. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm saving myself. For whom? Oh God, tell me about it. <laughs> Susan. Susan. Susan, open the door. Susan. Open the door, Susan! No, you're in there now, Susan. Open the door. Susan! Susan! Open Susan. up, Susan! My God. I could sit down and write your script for you because you're a duplicate of me. <laughs> you were just five years old when I got sober, so you don't remember. Yes, I do. I found out the hard way that sobriety doesn't mean just not drinking, okay? Yeah, it means, it means not running away from your problems, not from school. I see kids like you every day, bummed out by the world. You want to be adults, but you don't want the responsibility. He's a social worker. He thinks I'm one of his cases. Susan? Susan, sit down and listen. Look who's talking about responsibility. All right, fine. Then deal with her. You can't pay the bills until some jerk comes to the door. And what about Grandma talking about Grampy having a virus? A virus? He's gonna die! You guys are just hypocrites! Susan, you've been taking pills with alcohol. Do you know how dangerous that is? Do you know how stupid that is? Do you know you could die from that? Didn't! Oh, you didn't, huh? Well, let's go get you a blood test right now. Hey, Mom, Mom, take it easy. Yeah, take it easy. Oh, 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 she's all yours. You get yourself into a drug treatment program and stay in it. And that's final. Dearest Trace, okay, you asked for it. So here's a typical day at Marathon House. Classes in the morning so you can get your high school diploma. Therapy sessions in the afternoon so you can get sick to your stomach listening to all these idiots talk about their problems. You think there's any other way that you could deal with those angry feelings? You told me you'd get me off kitchen work. Well, I kind of like your cooking, Mama. Oh, very mature. Hold it, hold it. Kathy, what are you feeling right now? I don't know. I know. Like, I really want to go out and cop. Sounds to me like you're uh, mad at Patrick. Well, that's why I want to get out of here and get high. Well, let's go. <laughs> okay, I want to know why Susan hasn't said a word here. And nobody in this group is doing anything about it. She doesn't feel well. Oh, she's been here three months and hasn't felt good once. She has a stomach ache. And she gets out of everything. Leave her alone. Susan, is what's going on here making you anxious? It just hurts. I don't know why you guys don't believe me. I believe it hurts, Susan. I'm just trying to find out why. Is this over yet? I mean, can we go watch some TV? Now, what do you want to do about it, Susan? It's your pain. You decide. Go to the emergency room. Maybe they'll finally do something. I finally decided to quit taking drugs, just so I wouldn't have to talk about it anymore. The funny thing is, I don't really miss getting high. By the way, do not cut your hair. I love it long. Wish I could see you, but it's against the rules. I'll be out of here by spring and we'll have a fabulous reunion. Love, Susan. Careful. <laughs> guys, get in the water. There we go. Okay, who wants to go first? Me. All right, let me hold it for you. Get in there, Sam. Oh, thanks. All right. Right. Here's your paddle, Patrick. Thanks, Izzy. Oh, All right. Bunching. Take off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You guys want to help out? Oh, no, it's... Whoa! 
Will she be all right? She'll be a lot better when we drain the fluid from her lungs. Was it swimming? Is that how she no, got no, the fluid? No, no, it has nothing to do with that. It's a pre-existing right, condition. Sir. What kind of condition? We'll do some tests and find out. Nope. What kind of condition? Could be systemic blood disease, pneumonia, TB, or even a malignancy. The important thing right now is yeah. tapping that lung. She's in acute distress. Come on, I need some help in there. <coughs> no! No, drug! Honey, honey, I have to. I don't want to be addicted. You won't be. Susan, I'll make a deal with you. I won't give you anything until I tell you what it does, huh? Come on, hold her! Hey, Matthew, how come Susan won't let me see her in the hospital? I called her the first time we could even talk since that doofy drug program. She won't stay on the phone for two minutes. She doesn't even want to see us. <laughs> what, is she afraid we might all catch tuberculosis? She's mad at me, isn't she? She got put away in Marathon House and I didn't. No, she's not. And she doesn't have tuberculosis. Yeah, but my mom said she had tuberculosis. That's what everybody thinks. She'll kill you, Matthew. Susan has cancer. How could Susan get cancer? I don't know. How could anybody? Is it her lungs like your grandfather? No, in her stomach. Is she gonna die? She's not, is she? Hell no. They're giving her chemotherapy. She's already getting better. It started out as big as a softball, and now it's the size of a pea. Uh, I gotta get off. I gotta see her. She's been my best friend since second grade. No, she doesn't want you to. You or anybody. happening to her? Why is she losing her hair? You see, the chemotherapy mistakes some good cells for bad ones and kills those too. That's why she's having those side effects. But it is helping. Believe me, it is helping. Are her odds any better? The odds are still the same. Susan's type of cancer has a... Uh, Survival rate of 25%. <clears throat> These are uh, some of my patients who've made it. Many with the same prognosis as Susan. Now, uh, the best thing for us to do at this time is continue outpatient treatment and hope for the best. She must be very excited about getting back home, huh? What are your immediate plans?